Hey everybody, Mark here with Apple Tech 128 videos. And today I'm going to show you how to link a button to a specific website in Xcode for Mac applications. Let's get started. So first what we want to do is drag in a button. Let's just use a push button for this example. And I'm just going to name it Apple, just for Apple's website. Just like that. Okay. So now we have that. We can close out these and one go to this middle editor right there. And we want to head on over to this right here. Make sure this is like highlighted blue or whatever color your highlight is. And you want to select the app delegate.h, which is what it should be in. If you see this right here, you want to click the page. Then you want to go up here and click app delegate.m. And where it says insert code here. This isn't really needed, but we can delete this anyway. So let's just delete that right there. So we can just enter some code in here real quick. And first what we want to do is go on over to our button and hold down control and drag it over and see it says insert action, let go. And then we can name it whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's just name it Apple. And then we have IB action, Apple, ID sender, and we have that code right there. So that's already pre-built when you moved it over for your control. So now we want to type in NS URL right there. If you, if that pops up, we can just click the um, enter button. We want to name this, we can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it my URL for this example. And then we want to do space equals space. And in your bracket, we want to do ns ur, I'm, url again. And followed by url with string. And then we want to type in our address. You have to include your http colon slash slash. And it came up with this right here, but we'll just ignore that for now. So we want to do at, we want to have our quote, and we want to do http colon slash slash apple.com. And that with your end quote and your bracket. And then we want to end that with a semicolon. Now we want to hit enter and enter one more line of code. We want to have two, oops, two brackets. Then we want NS workspace followed by shared workspace. And you want to end it with one bracket space open URL. And then we'll have our name that we previously named it, and I named it my URL. And end that with your bracket and semicolon. Now with that done, we should be able to run this without any errors. And let's just click the button, and it will take us right to Apple's website, apple.com. And that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions on how to do this, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, be sure to click that like button, subscribe for our videos, and more Xcode tips, and I will see you right back here in the next one. Thanks for watching.